All right, guys, today I want to talk about a small batch beard company that I came across at a local night market. It's called Smell Like a Viking. They've got two oils, two balms, and a beard and body wash there. So I thought I'd make this video while I was styling my beard. I figured it'd just be easier to, to do. And uh, at this point, I'm just using the black lavender beard oil. I have two different kinds, as you can see. One's black lavender, the other is black coral. I like both of them a lot. They smell really, really good. But uh, my favorite of the two is the black lavender. So I'm just going to apply it to my damp beard. I just recently got out of the shower. This is the normal routine that I have. I'm just going to fill the dropper, put it in my palm, and apply it to my beard. Now, like I said, I came across this company at a small local market at night. A barber shop had a tent set up. And he was, I guess, kind of selling these for the beard company, for Smell Like a Viking. And that company is out of Tampa, or Land of Lakes, one of the two, owned by a veteran. And I don't know much about this company, although I did look him up, and I'm going to provide a link for you down below so you can look at it and judge for yourself. He's got just a multiplicity of different beard oils, balms, beard and body washes, and even candles. They all smell really, really good. It was a very hard decision as to what to get when I was there because they all smelled great. But I just have an affinity for lavender. I don't think enough beard products have that in there. And I think a lot of beard product companies uh, kind of steer away from it because they might think of it as feminine. I don't necessarily, but... Uh, Anyway, so that's what I got. The black coral smells like a very good masculine cologne. I will say that the scents in these products last all day long. Of course, not as strong at the end of the day as, as compared to closer to when you put the product in. I did use the beard and body wash and I, did, I do like it. I would say it's probably an average type of body wash. Uh, not anything super special, but if you're looking for a body wash uh, or beard wash, that would, that would do just fine. Now, let me tell you about the ingredients in these products. So in the beard oil, what you'll find is jojoba oil, avocado oil, coconut oil, hemp oil, sweet almond oil, grapeseed oil, castor oil, apricot seed oil, argan oil, and of course the fragrance. Pretty good, pretty good stuff. I mean, it's the same kind of thing you're going to find in a lot of these companies. It's better than what you can find in some of the big box stores, in my opinion, because I've tried quite a few of them, and, and uh, I think uh, a lot of these beer product companies are savvy to what we want and what we need in our beards, and I would say those are pretty good ingredients. Now, in the beard balm, um, I'll be applying that here in just a little bit. But that has shea butter, cocoa, uh, yeah, cocoa butter, beeswax, jojoba oil, avocado oil, coconut oil, hemp oil, sweet almond oil, grapeseed oil, castor oil, apricot seed oil, and argan oil. Pretty much what you're seeing in the beard oil with the added beeswax. So there you have it. There you have it. Now, each one of these products, the oil, the balm, and the beard and body wash are, are $20 a piece. Now, the pros and cons to these, in my opinion, are that the, um, the oils last a very long time. I mean, they are good. They are really good. They last, like I said, the fragrance in them lasts all day long, and I really, really like that because... One of the aggravating things is when you spend good money on a product like this uh, and you pick out what you do because of the scent, you know the ingredients are good, so the only thing left is does it smell good? Is it something I want to have in my beard all day long? And I would say yes to pretty much anything that this guy is making. And the beard balm is the same way, pretty much. My only complaint, I guess, would be that I think 
he could probably ask maybe a little bit less. $20 for each thing uh, seems a little steep. And here's why I say that. It's not that that's probably not the average. I, th I think that's probably probably about the going rate. I mean, anywhere between $15, $16 to $20 for a one ounce bottle of beard oil. But when you have these many options to choose from, it makes you want to collect all of them. At that price, it would take quite a while to do. And that's just my opinion. I could be out to lunch on that. I, I, you know, I may not know what I'm talking about, but that's how I feel about it, at least. And I think, you know, when I look at some of the bigger companies, some of them ask just a little bit less or right around the same price. So here's these two balms, black lavender and the black coral. Yeah, I, these are great. These are great. I would say, sorry, I'm just demonstrating that I'm going to be using the black lavender. I would say that um, the prices could be just a little bit lower. And the, and the reason why is because when you go into the website, I don't see anything that offers any discounts or bundles. Now, I bought these products myself. I, they were not sent to me. They were not given to me for free. There is no affiliate program. The guy doesn't even know I'm making this video. So I have nothing in the way of savings to offer you. It's just something I tried. Now, I'm not going to be making a habit of showcasing beard product companies that don't have an affiliate program because I need to know that they have an investment in advertising their wares. I just think that's fair. But occasionally, I don't mind doing it. But like I said, I just don't think uh, for the price that uh, I'd be getting it all the time. You know, from time to time, I will be. Um, but I'm not going to be ordering a bunch of them. You know, here I'm just applying cool air to set the beard. Uh, but uh, I do think they're worth checking out. You might want to you might want to look at uh, them for yourself. He's like I said, he's got quite a few to choose from. And I do think they're great. Uh, there's so many beer products on the market right now. That, you know, the competition is stiff. Hopefully my beard is not. And no, it's not. This uh, this balm still leaves it soft and manageable. And I happen to pick up this Layrite Deluxe Comb, narrow tooth comb at the market also. It, that's not sold by the beard product company. I just happened to pick it up while I was there. I'll put a link for that down below also. But uh, yeah, good company, good products. I wish it was just a little bit less, just a little bit, not much. I'm not asking for much. And I wish they had an affiliate program so I could save you guys some money. But they don't. There you go. Check them out. Hope you guys enjoyed this.